What's up guys, so today for the install we are going to be, as you probably realize by the title, putting in a trailer brake controller. Now I am putting in a OEM factory brake controller because I want to keep a uniform look on my truck and on the dashboard. I don't want to be doing no drilling or screwing or stuff like that. So uh, anyways, it's actually pretty easy of an install. I already dropped the steering wheel down. I didn't unbolt it. I just pulled a little lever, pulled it down all the way because it's going to make it easier. And there's two six millimeter bolts, one here, one here. They're actually more like screws. This is this is what they are. So you'll need a uh, six millimeter bolt and then you just pull this outward or towards you because there are these hook things. So how this works is it slides in. So if you pull it down, you can r run the risk of breaking these. So you just wanna pull out. So kind of put your fingers in these holes and pull outwards like this and kind of push it down a little bit and then also pop out the sides here so this whole thing comes out and this is why you want to drop the steering wheel down it's going to help you out tremendously this is kind of difficult with one hand so once you get that out set that aside and the next thing you're going to want to pull out is this right here because the factory brake controller goes right in place of this silly little cubby thing that I've never used. I've used I use this one to put keys into but other than that nothing else so with this what you're gonna want to do just yank on it a good place to grab it is right here because this way if you peel the paint or anything you, if you rub it off no one's gonna really notice it so you just pull it right there pop it off give it a little bit of force pull the rest of it off and that is out so let me take care of this and I'll get back to you guys in a little bit so I took off the little cubby thing here it is right here it sits just like this no it sits like this and there's a bolt there bolt there that you take out that you're gonna use when you put in the factory brake controller back in not back in because it was never in here but when you put the factory brake controller in there it's gonna bolt here and there just like the cubby did but what you got to find is the plug that goes in the back of here now depending on if you have the center console here the plug might be stashed in your center console but in my case it is tucked up underneath the dash right next to my OBD2 scanner so this is it right here. They have it taped up there. So let me just undo this tape really quick. It really taped that thing in there. So let me throw that to the passenger seat. So next thing you're gonna wanna do is feed that wire back up to here. So as you can see, maybe I'm pushing it to where I need it to go. So let me reach my hand into the abyss and pull it up. I did not think it was going to be that hard to fish a wire from my dashboard. Alright, so now that that's in, we just got to connect it to this guy here and put it all back together. So let me do that and I'll be back with you guys in just a minute here. Quick tip, because I was an idiot, I didn't realize there's a cap on the end of the plug, the factory plug that go into the brake controller, so I was wondering why it wasn't fitting. There's a cap on it, make sure to remove the cap from the plug before you try and force it in there and you're wondering why it's not fitting. That's why. Now all I gotta do is plug the four wheel drive selector switch back in, push this all back together. Make sure you push on all the points of connecting. There we go. Don't be afraid to give it a little 
helping hand. Man, that, that looks really good and I'm happy that I have this. Now some of you might be looking at this and wondering why it doesn't have a screen right here to tell you. It's because when you put this in, you actually have to go to the Ford dealer, which really stinks that you have to do this, and you have to have them unlock it in the truck, because the feature's already there, The it's just the control unit's not in the truck when you buy it. And it's going to show up on your dashboard here. Whether or not you have this little 2-inch screen or not, it's still going to show up here. And it's the same with the F-150s from 09 to 14, and also with the F-250s, F-350s with the Super Duties in 2011, I believe, is when they switched to without having the screen on the controller was about 2011, the F-150s was a little bit sooner, and they put it on the dashboard. So you have to take it to the dealer, unlock it, and then you can actually use your brake controller and it'll show up on the screen for gain and stuff like that. And Otherwise, I'm going to put this piece back in right now for you guys. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. Took it out one-handed. So you just got to push all this in. Now, like I was saying before, up here, it has those weird hooks. So you want to push it up and then back so it locks in. But otherwise... That is the install for a trailer brake controller for 2009 to 2014 F-150s. Technically the install is not done because if I put my key in the truck, turn it on. Sorry, my radio was still on. I get it. My door is ajar. Now if I go to truck apps, trailer disconnected. Technically, if I start pushing buns on the trailer brake controller, it should be showing up on the dash that I'm adjusting in my gain, which I'm pushing the buns, I'm pulling it. It's not showing up. That It's not because the controller is broken. It's because it has not been unlocked in the truck. So I already have an appointment with my local Ford dealer to take my truck in and what that is, I have to get another key program because my truck only came with one, but that other key I'm getting program has a surprise in my next install video. So stay tuned for that one. And as a hint, it has to deal with this blank space right here on this key. I'm sure some of you Ford guys could probably guess what that's going to be. But anyway, but anyways, guys, thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps you guys out with your install. And if you plan on doing this with your truck, it is super easy. Took me probably 15 minutes or less to put that thing in there. It's going to take them longer to unlock it in the truck So at the Ford dealer. But that's no big deal. I'm going to have them unlocking a few different things when I get there but anyways guys thanks you thank you again for watching my video please feel free to browse my channel for, for my other videos and my other install which included my tow mirrors I have more things to come with this truck and also I have not forgotten about the BMW we will be getting to that later on in future videos so please like this video comment with any questions or if you just want to say hi and Feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Laters.